in itself can be his downfall. Bill Clancy, the referee from the United States, calling them together. It's on both camps right now. These trunks are a little high. They're a little high, okay? Punch right here is good. He's good, okay? Punch here is good. Give me a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Questions from the challenger. Questions from the champion. Touch gloves. Good luck. No questions. The time for talking is over. Is Danny Green about to become Australia's next boxing world champion? I'm pumped, Clinton, just sitting here in the studio. The butterflies are in the stomach. Hairs on the back of the net. This is, this is what we've been waiting for. The Nürburgring Formula One circuit in Germany. Marcus Boom Boom Bayer against the green machine Danny Green we await the bill to start round one of a scheduled 12 rounds and the fight is underway and Danny Green trying to get one in early as the smoke haze clears from that remarkable build up who will be the aggressor early Danny Green wanting to get Bayer on the back foot remember fighting a southpaw for the first time well, he's positioning himself very well to start off with. He's getting outside that right foot there of Bayer. And that what Bayer will try to do is draw him in on with the lead and that make Danny follow him up and then he'll step back with his own left hand. And Danny's just got to be in the right position all the time. He'd like to try and keep the crowd out of the fight for as long as possible as well. He gets too close, Byron will just pick him off there. Stunning nicely, Danny, not, not showing any sign of real nerves. He's unloading with that right hand, which is a good sign. We know about the awesome good right hand. That right hand possesses, and if he can get a couple through early, it would do his confidence the world of good. The thing is also, once he starts following it with the left hook, now Danny's got tremendous power on the left hook, and Marcus Bay won't see it. It's out of his peripheral vision. Paul Briggs said that Danny Green's got one of the best left hooks he's ever seen and felt. It's a nice head movement there from Danny. Just needs to step in just that little bit more with that lead right hand. Not, not much coming back from Bayer as you can see, just trying to feel him out and look at the counter punch Greeny. So he's just trying to draw him in there. If Danny follows too close, He'll, get, he'll land that left hand back on Danny. Green working him into the ropes there. Bayer bounces off quickly. Down to a minute remaining round number one. That's good work from Green. That's what he's got to do. He's got to pressure his opponent early. And Green stumbles back there. Says no problems. Keeps going. Nice jab there from Danny Green. Oh, oh. down goes Bayer. Big right hand from Danny Green. We know about the power he possesses and the count being put on the champion. He's Marcus hurt. Marcus Bayer. He's hurt, Clinton. Green, you can follow it up here. He can take him out with the right hand. 40 seconds to go round one. Green on the march. The defending champ wearing one early from the challenger. Danny's just got to give himself room. He can't go in too fast. That's it. That's beautiful work from Danny Green. And but here he goes, continuing to land the blows. Bayer's still hurt. He's still in trouble here. Still got 20 seconds remaining to make a move. What a start for Danny Green. He'll land that right hand very, very shortly. It's timing it well. Down to the final seconds of round number one. And Danny Green has come to play today. Bayer would be happy to hear the bell here. Bell's ringing for him inside as Danny Green works in close. He still hasn't fully recovered either. Oh, what an opening round for Danny Green. That big right hand sitting the champ on his backside. An electrifying start. Just as I said, Clinton, that, that power and the speed, it surprised Bayer. Until, he, until you get in the ring with Danny Green, you don't know how fast he is. And Marcus Bayer just found out he ended up on the canvas. You know, all that garbage that went on beforehand with the ring entrance with Bayer, I think it really distracted him. That was beautiful way from Danny Green. Straight right hand right down the middle. Let's we'll have another look at it again. There it is. So he just changes the angle, comes straight back on with the right hand. And you've got to give it to Bayer. He, he had, he had, uh, he had got off of the canvas. You know, good chin. Definite 10-8 round there for Danny Green. And that, with the knockdown, is beautiful punch. What a confidence builder for Danny Green. His first world title fight. We look in the corner. They've got every right to be worried now, Bayer. He's felt the power of Danny Green, and he could be finished off in this round, Clinton. Well, 
The Green Machine Army at the lower of the screen, they were up. A 10-8 round, according to David Birchall's card, as Danny Green coming out hard. He didn't wear too many, if any, in that first round. See, and this is the, the reason behind all his good sparring. And that he positioned himself well for that right hand. He made Marcus Bay a miss with his left, came back with his own right hand. Maybe just careful now, doesn't get too eager, leave himself open for a retaliation blow from Bayer. The crowd know, the local hope, the champ, has got some work to do. Time to respect the opponent from down under. If Bayer's defensive at the best of times, he'll be even more so now. He's felt the power of Danny Green, he's been on the canvas, and he'll be worried. Green is just so powerful in the ring. Well, that great uh, training camp that he had out there at the Novotel at Olympic Park. And that it was beautiful training and it's going to prepare him adequately to win this fight. Danny Green looking super confident here. And he's taking his time, Clinton. He's not being over aggressive. He's just picking his punches. He's putting his combinations together. He's doing everything Jeff Fennick would have asked of him. And you look how his jab lands. Again, he had his foot in the right position. Doesn't matter if he's taller or shorter than Marcus Bayer. If the foot's in the right position, comes straight over the top of Marcus Bayer's right jab. Flawless at the minute. Bayer is struggling to landing anything of significance this stage. It's all Danny Green. He's just so dominant in this round. He wants a double right hand there, Jeff Fennig. will come with a double right hand left hook. He's got a cut too over his right eye, Marcus Bayer. Bayer right, trying to fight his way back. He, he knows he's in trouble. Danny Green just keep coming forward. You can hear Jeff Fennick in the background. One, two, three. You see that double right hand landing too. No, that double right hand left hook or either a double right hand left rip to the body. Danny's been working on that in training and it's, been, it's paying dividends now. Inside, closing minute, round number two. To this point, another Danny Green round. And oh, he's, he's got down it down again. again for a second time. The champ goes down for a second time and has the count put on him. Well, he clipped him with a good right hand just before the knockdown punch. That was the one that really hurt him, the first right hand. Bay's in real trouble here, Clinton. He doesn't look like he wants to be there at all. Well, he's got 30 seconds now, Danny Green, before the bell to conclude round two. And he knows the door is open to take down Marcus Bayer. Green's just too powerful, he's too strong, too fast. It's so, almost looking a mismatch, if you could possibly believe it. He still has to respect Marcus Bayer. If Marcus Bayer times a good shot, anything can happen. Final seconds, round two. We'll wait. He can score it for Danny Green again. What a, what a start for Danny Green. That's unbelievable. Two knockdowns in the first two rounds. Yeah, another 10-8 round there to Danny Green. You couldn't ask for a better start. Matt. But you can see there, Danny Mancini, the cut man in Marcus Bayer's corner. Very good. He works in a lot style shop out in London. That is one of the best um, cornermen in the business. Well, fairly aggressive in the instructions to Marcus Bayer. He's telling him to look out for that right hand. Yeah. And there it is. High up on the head there. Knocking him to the ground. He's done very well. There's Susie Fennick there and, and Nina. Green. Yeah, and Danny's father Mal there as well. What a start to this fight. You couldn't have asked for any more from Danny Green. He's done everything we could, th could have hoped for and more. So back-to-back 10-8 -back rounds on David Virtual's cards. Remembering neutral judges, Italy, South African, and a Frenchman scoring the bout. 2016 David's card as we start round three of a scheduled 12. Time to remind you the three knockdown rule is not in effect. Well, Marcus Bay was told to get away from the strong right hand of Danny Green. He's still walking back that way. That he's got to take half a step back if he's going to move to his own left. The way Green's going, uh, Clinton, we might not need the scorecards here. You called it, you said it when we started this broadcast many hours ago, Paul. You said this round, round number three. Let's see. Look at Danny, confident Danny is now. He's fighting with his hands down, can be a problem, but it's just showing how confident. He, he thinks he's got by it. He thinks he's won this fight. Hopefully he does, but he can't get carried away now. And he's just got to go through as well as he did in those first two rounds. 
stayed nice and tidy like he is right now. Bayer doesn't mind going the distance of his 28 fights, 27 wins, 11 by way of knockout, but he has gone the distance there for 16 times. As Green perhaps cops one, but now sends many back in Bayer's direction. We well, expected a cop shots like that. The good thing is he did come straight back on top of him. He can't let Marcus Bayer rest. He doesn't want to give Bayer a sign that there is an opening for him. Key to Green is he's throwing combinations. He's just not going with one punch. He's putting them together. And if he's missing with the first punch, he's landing with the second and third. Yeah, there's some chemistry about what he's doing. It's not haphazard. Bay is reluctant to throw anything back because every time he does, he's getting countered by Danny Green's right hand. And you see now that he's just got that right distance every time. Marcus Bayer can't tee up on Danny, but he can't relax either. As soon as Marcus Bayer wants to relax, Danny's straight on top of him. Danny Green continuing to set the agenda as we work our way towards a minute remaining in the third round. Bayer in the corner. Look at this cat and mouse sort of stuff. Green ducks underneath it. Bayer works to the body. Green replies. That was beautiful work there. He caught with the hand and came straight back with the same hand he caught with. And now, unloading. And another left there. That might have got through as well. You just see the size difference there of Danny Green. He's got that height and reach advantage. So powerful. Another good right hand. He is dominating this fight right now, Danny Green. Okay. A lot of Marcus Bayer's opponents have come straight into his left hand. And this is where Jeff Fenix really worked out the right tactics here. Danny's still got the pressure on, but he's not walking under the left hand of Marcus Bayer. And that's where Paul Miller's come in very, very handy for him with the sparring he's received. Crowd trying to lift. The local champ at the moment having no significant effect as we work our way towards the final seconds of the third round. A round where Danny Green, once more, has been the aggressor. Three of 12 down. A bit of a Jeff Fennick tactic there right at the end. Uh, Danny was prepared to use his head. That uh, Marcus Bayer was trying to hang on, so Danny just pushed him aside, tried to get out of there. We look in the corner of Danny Green. Jeff Fennick. The only time he's going to get a little bit lazy, we get cocky. Listen, keep your hands up high, then let me see what he's doing now. He knows, listen. Sorry, sir. He knows he can't outbox you. But he's, 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 now, he's now, just wait. Give it to me. He's now sitting on a standing with a big punch. He's trying to punch a little bit harder. Instead of, instead of going from boxing now, he's fine. Instead of going from boxing, he's trying to sit on his left hand now, okay? So get him up now. Be tidy for me, huh? Have a drink for me. This is as beautiful as you can get, okay? But you've got to keep your hands up for me nice and high, okay? And finish with the one, two, threes when you've got him going back down. Finish the one, two, three. Three, Danny. One, two, three. You've got speed. You've got power. Little, <laughs> little short ones. Little short ones. So close. You can almost feel the sweat there. And what great words from Jeff Fennick, starting by saying, don't get cocky about it. Just having him back as we check David's card. 10-9 that round. 30-25 overall. Great to hear from the three-time world champ, Jeff Fennick. Well, as we've spoken about earlier, that can be the difference in the fight. You know, if Danny did get a bit cocky, he could walk onto one of Marcus Bayer's bombs. He's just fighting a controlled fight at this stage. He's not being overly aggressive. He's had Bayer down twice already. He's not try going in all out and just winging his punches. He's trying to fight the game plan that Jeff Fennick set down, and he's, he's doing it perfectly at this stage. It's three rounds to zip. Now Bayer responding with a flurry of punches. Gets the crowd involved. And Danny's got to bring his hands up there. He caught that flurry on the gloves, but he doesn't want to get cocky, as Jeff just said. Flash your heads there. Bill Clancy, our referee from the United States, separating them. The large frame of Danny Green. Stalking the world champion for how much longer? Has he got through there? Has Bayer on the ropes? That was another good right hand there from Danny Green. Yeah, he's just got to start following up with a few left hooks as well. Got to sit himself a little bit lower. He's been up a little bit too high when he's thrown the left hook so far. The longer Bayer remains in the fight, you fancy, the more confident he will 
but come given his pre-fight talk about Danny Green and 12 round fights as Bayer responds here. See Danny Green's a little bit too close there. He's right on Marcus Bayer's left hand. That he's got to just take that little extra step back or to the side. Still blood coming from yeah. that right eye of Marcus Bayer there. Green's punches are really taking a toll. Down to 40 seconds in this fourth round. Beautiful jab yeah. there from Danny Green. Bayer knows in his fight. He's trying to come back now. He's, let, he's tried to land more punches this round than he has in the other previous ones. But the more punches Bayer throws, it leaves himself open and Greeny can counter him with one of those big right hands on the left hook. It's been Bayer's best round of the fight so far. Green continuing to swing late. Yeah, I'd like to see Danny use his right hand straight out the middle when Bayer throws his right jab. That it's a very, very difficult punch to land, but it's very effective. Chasing Bayer down there in the dying stages of round number four. Interesting to see how you guys are going to mark this one. I got that round for Danny Green. I just think he landed the better punches throughout the fight. We saw more from Marcus Bayer. Uh, he threw a few more punches because he knows he's in one hell of a fight, but I just think Danny Green deserved to win that round. It certainly did. Marcus Bayer, that was his best round, but still it was nowhere near enough to beat Danny Green. Looking in his corner now, and he looks like he's in a fight. Treating that cut above the right eye. Some of the action from round number four and getting through with the left. That's a bad cut. That is a bad cut there over the eyebrow. Certainly is, and Danny Man said he's going to have his work cut out for him. Bay has gone to reasonably happy with that round. They really wanted to pick the tempo up. He's got to come in there, he's got to win a few more, he's got to start winning a few rounds. Round number five. David Birchall scoring at Greensway by a lopsided margin of 40 to 34 after the opening four. And the job's still not done for Danny Green. And he's just got to remain composed, pick his punches, just keep the pressure on, keep aiming for that, that bad right eye cut of, of, of Bayer. Well, something that a lot of guys neglect when they fight against the southpaw is their jab. It's an effective punch. It's the closest hand to the opponent. Danny's using it well. The way that cut is, a big chance this fight could be stopped with that cut. It's, it's bleeding again already. It's a really big cut. We see the boys throwing each other the canvas. Referee's, referee's going to warn Danny Green here for throwing his opponent on the ground. Well, Bayer was the one that initiated that. He, he held on to Green. Green just threw him over. He tried to pull Danny down. Then he's got to stay calm. Blood there on him. That, I think the referee's signalling there that the cut on Bayer was caused by a headbutt. Greeny protesting, saying it was from a punch. Yep. The well, cut was open very early in the fight. I know, but <laughs> this is one of the things with boxing that can happen. You know, that Danny's just got to stay composed. He's just got to continue to win the fight. Under WBC rules, they can take the point away from the person who isn't cut. Halfway through round five, and Bayer responding. Good left hand from Bayer. See, Danny's crowding it too close. He's got to get back to the same distance he was before. The momentum is changing. I still think Greeny's on top here. He, he's still landing more, the more effective punches. He is, but he's just trying that a little bit too hard at the moment. Blood continuing to rush from the cat above the right eye of Marcus Bayer as they work to the body now with a flurry. Beautiful jab, jab again. And Green able to duck away from the response of Bayer. Then he's just got to keep using that jab now. The right hand will come.
Well, Bill Clancy had come in and told them to stop. And he's going to deduct a point here for the headbutt. So a point deducted from Danny Green. Now, D Danny's got to stay real calm now. He can get disqualified here. He's up so far in this fight that he does want to take the risk of getting disqualified. Two points. He's taken two, two points. points. Good heavens. Very unusual. Very unusual call by the referee. Sends Green back to the neutral corner. Two-point deduction from Danny Green. And this is fast becoming a war. Now the cut's going to be attended to here. They might stop this fight, Clinton. And if they stop it, they could disqualify him. He's stopping the fight. I think we've got a problem here for Danny Green. I think Bay is going to retain his decision, retain his title. He's lost two points there. That's, that's pretty bad. That's disgraceful, actually. Danny didn't come in with him. They're going to score the round. They're going to go to the judges' scores cards for that round included. On, on this basis, if they went 10-8, 10-8, 10-9, 10-9, then Danny Green. But he's lost two points yeah. in that round. They, so it's going to be close. They could become a 10-8 round. They can also disqualify him. They've called an intentional headbutt. Well, this is bizarre scenes you are witnessing from the Nürburgring in Germany on main event television as the bottles are being tossed into the ring. Directed there at the challenger from Australia, Danny Green. Another bizarre boxing chapter unfolding before your very eyes. And in the fifth round, referee Bill Clancy coming in and prior to a two-point deduction from Danny Green stopping the fight, the nasty cut above the right eye of the champion Marcus Bayer who went down in the first round and again in the second round. Danny Green was dominating early. Well, even with a two-point deduction, I still think, as we watch here the replay, I still have Danny Green winning yeah. on points. If, uh, if the first two went 10-8. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. We just have to wait for these judges' scorecards. Could go either way. He said that was from a punch anyway. Now Danny pushes up, then he throws the left hand straight after it. Probably his forearm hit him. But Danny became quite animated the round before when the referee called that it was from a head clash and not a punch, when the cut was called earlier in the fight. Let's have a listen in. Okay, I understand. We're going to the scorecards. Going to the scorecards. All right, it's clear there from Bill Clancy. He says after he cut him, an intentional headbutt. We're going to the scorecards. And even though that round wasn't completed, the referees instructed the judges to score that round, including the, the two points deduction. And we're going to get a decision for after five for five rounds. David, your card went, as you told us, 10-8 the first for Green, 10-8 the second for Green. Then Green won the third 10-9. You had him down 10-9 on the fourth. How were you scoring that fifth round prior to the deduction? Well, it's reasonably even um, up until then. Uh, Marcus Bayer was having his best round of the fight. I thought that... Um, Danny had done enough to win the round, but with that two points off, I believe that they'll call it a 10-8 round in favour of Bayer. Well, I've got to score 48-43 to Danny Green. OK, let's see if we can listen in more. Bill Clancy taking control here. There's a little bit of confusion at ringside with the officials, and they're totaling up the scores now. You don't like that word, confusion, here. This could be the result for Danny Green in the most bizarre of circumstances. The promoter of the Wil card there. Wilfred Soylent looks very upset there. I think... If you're trying to look at the scores here, we're just trying to look over their shoulder. Well, you, you couldn't possibly score it for Bayer, could you? I thought one judge had Green ahead there, 46 to 40 something. Yeah, 45, 46 it appeared. It's going to a decision. What are you talking about? It's an intentional head, mate. Again, you can hear Bill Clancy. If Danny Green does win, it's, it's, there's confusion, there's a little controversy. It's very interesting to see what's going to happen. It would be a remarkable way to win a world title. But saying all that, Clint, Danny Green was dominating oh, yeah. this fight. Forget what happened with the two-point deduction. Danny Green had him down twice. He dominated the rounds. As far as I'm concerned, he won every round, and he lost two points in that last round. Oh, how nerve-wracking is this weight? How anxious the the German the German promoter and, his, and the Bayer team look a little bit concerned. I think they know that they were behind on the cards. Whether those two points make up for it or not, you wouldn't think so. You would not. You think that the two knockdowns that Green scored uh, uh, balances up the deduction for the two points. And so then, even then, I still think Danny Green should win on the card. Four thousand people standing inside the giant marquee at the Nurburgring Formula One racetrack, and this is. 
and an if, agonizing wait for Danny Green. Is the dream about to be realized? And if Green does get the decision, the crowd is going to erupt. Yeah, they better get security on standby. We saw some bottles coming in at the completion there. Marcus no. Bay has beaten, beaten just once in his professional career. I'll just take this opportunity now because I know Jeff wanted me to mention it. The Costi Seafoods and the guys from Connors for <laughs> flying him out uh, relieve some of this tension here. Well, you've got a big audience for it right now, David. You've got that in. Daniela's concerned. Nina in the camp. Anxious, pensive. Nervous. What's it going to be? And if Danny Green does win this decision, the Germans are going to be howling for a rematch. <laughs> Main event boxing, folks. We love it. And we are just waiting to see whether or not Danny Green is going to ensure Australia have simultaneous world champions for the first time That's since a, 1987. That's a terrible cut, Clinton. The, the doctor had to stop this fight. You can see it there. It's just opening right up, David. Shock and cut. Oh, it definitely had to be stopped. There's no way that anyone would have been able to stop that cut. The thing is, the way that it happened, um, a lot of controversy there. And if they call it a headbutt, technically they could disqualify him, and we don't want to see that happen. What is all. it about Australians in Germany with headbutts? <laughs> Anthony Mundine got Ponoloid's two points for a headbutt, because as well in Germany. I want to know how long it takes to count up five rounds worth of scorecards. Clinton, they just want to make sure they've got oh. the right decision because there's some technical rules at play here. The officials need to confer with the referee. The referee has to make important decisions about how the cut was made, two-point deduction, and then he instructed the judges to score, including the fifth round. And here we go. Looks like we're going to get the decision. You are watching Australian boxing history unfold before your eyes. This one will be talked about for a while. Chance of Marcus Bayer from the crowd. The Aussie pocket of support responding in kind. And still, the weight drags on. The tension, the tension in the air. Only in boxing does this happen. Repeating, David's card read 10-8 the first, 10-8 the second for Green, 10-9 the third for Green, 10-9 the fourth for Green, and while Bayer was given the fifth, even with the two-point deduction for Danny Green, on our cards, he's ahead. Let's see if we can listen in more. They're still disputing the ruling here. The Germans must not be happy. He is the doctor. He called me. And I, I, I said stop the fight because of the second cut from the head bow. Right, the right, right. right. And that's right. That's fine. I understand that. I cannot change the rules. We're in the fifth round, okay? I take two points for the headbutt. It's an intentional foul. It's an intentional foul. I took the two points per the rules. You advise me to stop it because of that cut, correct? Because of the headbutt, yes. The rules say, the rules, no, that's my decision. That's my decision, okay? The rules say, the rules say, it goes to the scorecard when you're in the fifth round. I cannot change the rules. Okay. The doctor is trying to say that uh, Danny Green should be disqualified and the win go to Bayer. was a bad foul and I took two points per the rules. It's my decision whether I disqualify him. I did not feel... It was with the head and with swing. Understand it. Was it intentional? Yes. Yes. And that's what the rules state. No, the second. The second. The referee's perfectly correct in that ruling. Bill Clancy has taken control here and credit to that man under enormous pressure. The doctor trying to tell him what to do because the doctor saying it was for the second headbutt so he should be disqualified and Bill Clancy is sticking to his guns which is good news for Danny Green. I think the Germans know that, Dan that Danny Green's ahead on points. And I, don't think, I don't think the doctor would have stopped the fight had he known the rules. No, no, definitely not. I don't think Bill Clancy will ever referee again in Germany. Yeah, because Germany, the Germans have tried to pull a stunt here and Bill Clancy is holding firm. Yeah, well, full credit to him, you know, because that's what he's out there to do. He, he said that it was a foul from Danny Green, and that's fair enough, but he didn't think it was bad enough to warrant a disqualification, and it definitely wasn't. Bill Clancy's resolve may have just won Danny Green the world championship. We will still wait. Let's keep our fingers yeah. crossed, Clinton. We're not sure, but as I said, regardless of the headbutt, Danny Green was winning that fight. No doubt about it. Let's go back and listen in. Yes. That's what I said. It is disqualification. No, it's not. That's your rule. You interpret the rule. You are the rule committee. Look at it. Look at it. 
Read this. Look at this. Get off. Read this. Excuse me. Oh, Read this. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. Hey, please, go. that's not the rule. You're right. No, you're right. It's the rule. It's the rule. So I just want to make sure we're clear on the rule. The rule is clear, and we go by the rule. I have no problem with that. I have no problem. That's why I conferred to you. That's fine. I have no problem with that. I just want to make sure the rule is clear. That's fine. It's, that's clear. It's clear. I have no problem with that. The doctor stated he was not able to continue. That's fine. That's fine. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with that. I have no problem. It's okay. The rule is very clear, Jeff. The rule is clear. You're the same as every other cut in sport. You're the same as the one you just I think this is bad news for Danny Green. Listen, every dog has his name off it. Now you change the rules. No, no, no. That's what you know what you Jeff, they just bought the rule book out. I cannot change the rule book. You don't know the rule. You don't know the rule. An intentional headbutt. Listen to me. An intentional headbutt that causes a cut. Okay? That was already cut. Listen, was already cut. They're going to disqualify Danny cut. Green, I think, Clinton. That was an intentional headbutt also. That was already cut, okay? that was already cut sir. And you it know was that. aggravated you know worse that. by the headbutt. Jeff, I'm not going to argue. There's no point in arguing. Of course you are. Of course you are. Because... Yeah. I tell you what you don't want to argue, because you know you're the same as everybody else. I was wrong about you. I was wrong and Dom was wrong about Jeff, you. Jeff, that's not, that's not uh, true. I just hope you referee in true. my country. Yes, Jeff, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. So the decision now, and I've got the rules in front of me, an intentional headbutt. When a cut is caused by an intentional headbutt and the cut boxer is unable to continue, the offending boxer will lose by disqualification. If the cut boxer is able to continue, the butting boxer will be penalised two points. That was the initial call. Then he was deemed that he was not able to continue and the cut was deemed to be caused intentionally. That is leading to this possible disqualification. Well, the one technicality with that, the cut was already there. That's what, that's what the penny camp is arguing, yeah. So, therefore, uh, it was, the cut wasn't caused by the actual headbutt. It was aggravated by it, as the referee declared, but the cut was bad enough as, as it was. Well, this is just a roller coaster of emotions, and now we fear bad news. If he had been able to continue, it would be two points. Yes. If he was able to continue, it would have been two points. He's not able to continue. I fancy Marcus Bayer is going to retain his world championship. Liebe Boxsportfreunde, im Zelt hier am Nürburgring und zu Hause an den Fernsehgeräten. Zu Hause haben Sie die Diskussionen mit Ringrichter Bill Clancy, den BBC Delegierten und den Punktrichtern miterleben können. Sie wissen mehr. Sie in der Halle wissen noch nicht viel. Nach den Regeln der WBC, die besagen, wenn der Ringrichter einen Kopfstoß mit zwei Punkten Minus bestraft und der Boxer nicht weiter boxen kann, der getroffen wurde, wird der, der den Kopfstoß ausgeführt hat, disqualifiziert. Even in German. You know what that means. Sieger durch Disqualifikation des Gegners Markus Bayer und damit weiterhin Weltmeister der WBC. In the most unbelievable, incomprehensible of fashion, Markus Bayer has retained his world championship. Danny Green is distraught after another remarkable chapter has been written in Australian boxing. And you fancy this has to be deemed a hollow victory for Marcus Bayer.